This is what lithium niobate looks like. It's a man-made transparent crystalline material. Here in my lab, we study lithium niobate photonics. The reason why this material is so interesting is that when you apply a voltage to lithium niobate, the refractive index changes. It's this optical nonlinearity that's resulted in lithium niobate being one of the most widely used photonic materials. It's used in electro-optic modulators, quantum optics. It can be periodically pulled, doped, integrated with other materials, has a very wide transparency window out to the mid-IR wavelengths, and can be used to make acousto-optic modulators as well. In this review paper, the first author, Guang Yu Chen, has meticulously gone through the literature to give an overview of this material from a photonics education standpoint. Although we did our very best to be comprehensive, it's invariable that we've likely missed something, and for that I apologize in advance. Lithium niobate has uses outside photonics. For example, it's used in surface acoustic wave filters, but we've tried to keep this review oriented towards photonics applications. There have been many exciting recent developments in lithium niobate, and hopefully this will give readers a clear overview.